All right, guys. We are back in the new garage. Um, pretty much ready to start doing some stuff. As for the last video, I do have the GK Touch shifter relocation for the CD09 Trans now. But this video is going to be pertaining to this, the Link G4 um, thing. So I'm going to get all this stuff out the way. Transmission stuff, we'll just put it on the fat ass tires. There we go. Okay. So basically all that we're doing is taking this and putting it in there because it should fit in this stock housing. That's what I've been told. Um, and this is pretty much straight off of like this engine has been freshly imported. So this is a stock of an install as it's going to get because this is still stock housing. So as far as this, I uh, just for the connector itself, you undo this bolt. That'll detach it from the harness, and then I'll bring it to the bench over there, and we'll do Okay, it. that was pretty easy. It's really, it, it actually is a 10 millimeter bolt. You just unscrew that, and then this whole connector pops out. But I got it over here. As far as the casing, uh, of course you need the 10 millimeter to get it off, but it looks like everything else is held in by these Phillips uh, screwdrivers, Phillips screws, whatever. So, it's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The ones on the side are for the bracket. Uh, you got to take the bracket off first. I guess this is like what bolts to the, you know, wherever the ECU is mounted in the Nissan Stagia or the R34 Skyline that you got it from. So the brackets aren't really needed. You don't necessarily have to put that on depending on where you're going to mount this thing. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take those off first and then start taking these off. But it's pretty easy. It's just a Phillips screwdriver. Pop them off. They're not even held by that much force. So... Pretty much, as you can see, it's pretty simple to reveal the actual ECU itself. Um, yeah, it's just the screws on the outside of the case. Now, in order to take this out, because this is a drop-in ECU, so in order to take the actual ECU out, like the chip, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws. These are still Phillips, seven screws on the back of it. These are what hold it in to the casing so this is the stuff that we're going to have to remove you can be like me i like to be extra careful because this is the ecu i mean it's like one of the most important things but i just left all the screws in the order that they came off of the casing with it like facing this way it it probably doesn't matter but i like to be extra careful and leave everything with the screws and stuff that they're going to same thing for that. I'm going to put the brackets back on for now, just for the heck of it, in case I do decide to use them. But yeah, so it'll just be these, and then this should pop out, and we'll go ahead and unbox the Link ECU. So I did get all of them out. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Keep in mind, these are different lengths. But uh, I don't know if this is on everyone. But you guys see that little thing in there? That's a problem. <laughs> that prevents me from getting in there with the, uh, with the Phillips. And that is the last remaining one to get out. I'm not sure if that's just mine's or if that is every single one of them so i'm gonna try to figure out how to get that one out and i'll let you guys know once i figure it out all right i got it um i don't know why this one was like that Let's see if you can see it focus i don't know i showed it earlier the other one isn't like that but yeah and uh 
that's everything so it should just pop out um of course you want to be careful because like i said it is the ecu i'm pretty sure yeah i feel it trying to come out it's just hard to do with one hand so i'm gonna go ahead and pop this out and then uh, unbox this all right upon further inspection i believe that the things that still hold it in are the ones on the side so like these these and these i thought they disconnected but um they feel like they're still holding it in those are still screws phillips screws so i just pop those out three on this side one on this side and then we'll see if it pops out from there all right so you actually don't have to take these out you can loosen them up they're really just holding in the side pieces so you could just loosen them up and then it'll slide right out that's what it did for me so yeah um so that has been taken out everything has been sorted i will put this right here remind me that that's right there i'm gonna forget as for the link ecu i'm gonna move this to uh free space something i forgot to consider the link ecu unboxing i guess i'm gonna go ahead and open this up lay it all out because i can't do it with one hand all right so this is what you get when you purchase the standalone link ecu two stickers inverted two these are not stickers but they're like sticky things but these have 3d texture to it i can't think of what they're called instructions manual standalone ecu this is a, I believe this is the chip that you use to plug it into the laptop for tuning. I don't know what this is. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's packaged very well though. It took me a little minute to get it out of all that. Um, normally I don't read instructions for installs, but for something like this, I am definitely reading the install instruction. So I'm gonna read this and then we will continue. And it's got a warranty, all right, cool. And then we'll continue with this. Right, so the instructions, they are, um, uh, I don't know how I feel about them. Keep in mind, I am not a 100% professional. But the point, pretty much the instructions just say to take this one out and drop this one in. And I'll even show you what it says. Uh... And like, yeah, it could actually be that simple right here. So this one says remove the factory ECU. So that's the last step of taking it out. And then it just says fit the G4 plug-in ECU, remove it from its packaging, you know, basically put it in. <laughs> so I'm like, uh, okay. I mean, I get it, it's supposed to be drop in, but maybe it actually is that simple. So, oh, I figured out what this was. This is a ground strap uh, just for like static electricity and stuff. The only thing that I've had a problem with is the screws that come in here, here, and here all have these nuts on the other end. Those nuts interfere with this actually dropping all the way down. So what I'm going to do is use the factory hardware because these screws are longer than the ones that came with it. And those go through the housings to kind of help with that. I'm going to try to refrain from using the one that's in the middle because I think these are two different sizes. But outside of that, like ever since I took those nuts off and those screws out, this is pretty much set flush. So what I'm going to do is screw those in, take the outside bolts, screw those in, and we should be good to go here. All right. So, yeah, everything pretty much like outside of the three screws that come here, they may, I mean, you know, it might be different because this Neo is out of Astagia. Those might be for a R34 GTT. I'm not 100% sure. But as long as you take those out and use the factory hardware, then it's it literally just drops in. That's pretty much it. Factory hardware for all these. It's in there. Another thing that I wanted to point out, and you got to be careful with handling this thing. It was really specific on like static electricity, possibly messing it up, and I don't want to take that chance. But the sides that are on here 
are not needed for the link ECU. So if you want, you can remove them all together. I'm probably going to remove this, this one, because this one's directly in front of whatever that is, that chip that has some, you know, different side things to it. The rest of them, you could probably still get something. I might just remove them all. It's very minimum weight reduction. Plus it eliminates rattling because they're just all rattling around. But outside of that, you just put the casings back on. I'm going to put the bottom case on first because I don't want the bottom of this to touch anything. When you do handle this, try, you know, of course, they give you the ground strap. But try to only touch, like, the plastic pieces. Don't try to touch the actual circuit board. Uh, don't try to touch the terminals inside there. So what I was trying to do was mostly just hold it by the plastic housing like this. If I did have to touch the back, I would try to touch, like, the main piece but not the little soldered points. Just in case, you know, you never know. This is the cable that connects to the supply cable that you put into whatever laptop you're going to use it. Tune it. Um, but for the most part, that's pretty much so, it. Um, that is pretty much it. Like the link ECU is in with the exception of this plug coming off to be tuned, you know, for the computer and stuff, you would have absolutely no idea that this was a standalone. So for all you people that may be watching in California, when they do the visual emissions checks and look for standalone ECUs. This is, I mean, like, it speaks for itself. They are not going to know that this is a different ECU. You can hide this little plug very well. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, because this one's dedicated for it. I am not going to lie. With me coming off of the experience that I have with working on cars, this is definitely one of the most scariest <laughs> installs even though it was easy as hell knowing how much i paid for this standalone ecu for it to be that easy yeah it doesn't rub me the right way <laughs> but if you want to spend the money on a link ecu install for this car at least is easy so i imagine the other drop-ins to be easy i took the extra precautions to do the whole you know conductive static electricity thing because i don't want anything to happen to this ecu that's up to you uh we'll leave that up for you to decide but yeah all you need to install this is a 10 millimeter socket and a phillips screwdriver and you're done so with that being said i'm going to end this video here uh, i may make another video later on today for the thermostat or the gk touch shifter or whatever because I got plenty of time. Another good thing about this new storage unit. But till then, just like, comment, subscribe. You know, follow the build. Keep up with it.